everyone. This is Julie. Thanks for joining this week's EdTech tutorial. This week's tutorial is focused on a free resource available to you right now and will be really helpful if you are a science or a math teacher or an elementary school teacher teaching science and math uh, during school closures. So this is a website called ck12.org and thank you very much to Dr. Carol Shutt, chemistry teacher at Helmar High School for letting me know about this resource. So in order to use the, uh, all the features of this resource, you will need to create an account. So when you first come to ck12.org, the top right will look like this. You will see a sign in um, button, a join button, and a help button. So you'll click on join, and it will ask you to sign up with Google. And when you do that, it will ask you to choose one of your accounts. Because I'm already signed in with Google, it bypassed that. So it'll give you that moment to click and uh, choose your Google account. Once you're signed in, you now have access to all of the features that are available. It will ask you to put in information about what grades you teach, what subject areas you have, and all of that is housed in your profile. It will automatically prompt for that the first time that you sign in. So you have your profile, your email address, how you connect, you can add Facebook, Twitter, and Microsoft if you like. You can put new information from your, um, you about your role, your school, etc., your time zone, uh, notifications, and all of this. So in your profile is where you change your grades and your subjects. So I went ahead and put in science, even though I'm not a science teacher, just so that I could show you some of the science uh, resources that are available but you have lots of options. So these are all the different um, subjects that um, CK12 focuses on. So not heavy on English, no history, social science content, but science and math are heavily represented in CK12. So let me just show you a few of the options that are available to you in CK12 for free. So you do have a dashboard. The dashboard will show you um, what is trending in your chosen subject areas. These are reading passages. There are practice uh, problems and quizzes, etc., for students. There are videos, and then there are interactives called clicks. Clicks stands for, mm, it says when it loads. Play, learn, interact, explore. I was not going to remember that on my own. Um, and then you also have simulations. So in science, simulations can be really helpful. To demonstrate scientific concepts so those are available in here as well so this is all in your dashboard and this is all here because I chose those science uh, science subjects as my profile subjects you also have an option to look at standards aligned they call them flex books but they're basically textbooks um, so you can choose a standard or a standard set a subject and a grade level and now you have textbooks complete textbooks that are available to you and your students and so when you go into those um, you'll see the complete table of contents and you can assign parts of this to students so you don't have to assign the entire thing you could pick the chapter on cell biology and just assign this particular chapter with your students there is also a chapter outline, so you could, could go down even more um, granular into here. Okay, so again, we still have the share with classes. So now I'm in a specific part of chapter two, section 13. And you'll notice there are a lot of highlighted words in here. So when I click on one of these, it doesn't define it for me. It sends me to other resources for that subject. So plasma is what I clicked on. It opened a new um, a new page with a bunch of resources about plasma. It's going to give me more information on that. There is another tab here that says resources. So you'll find links, um, discussion questions, study guides, videos, simulations, all of those things will show up here. Details are the learning objectives, difficulty level, and uh, keywords, 
and attributions are uh, basically the credits who was writing this where um, the figures were coming from pictures etc so this I got here once again by going from the main page um, into the flex books that's what I'm looking at are the textbooks so another way into this information if you're not in your dashboard which is where we were before is to go into the subjects so I'm gonna click on subjects and now you'll see all of the subjects that are available in here so they do claim that they have social studies um, but they don't have a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and click on um, history and show you what is here they do have textbooks but they don't have um, interactives and other things like that that are really uh, useful for you in the classroom so they'll have sections of textbooks for reading um, but there's no resources uh, very few other information I think they're building all of this but uh, they just haven't quite gotten that far yet so history is not as well developed as science and math are so once again going back to subjects this time I'm gonna look at math and show you what's available in math so I'm just gonna go to algebra for high school and when I go into algebra you'll see there is a flexbooks textbook we have middle school algebra interactive algebra algebra basic algebra concepts algebra one second edition algebra one honors so you have a lot of choices here this is interactive algebra 2 interactive algebra 1 so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this interactive algebra 1 textbook so we can see what interactive actually means so I'm gonna click on equations and inequalities and I'm gonna click on graphing linear equalities and I'm gonna hit start so this is going to take me into the interactive textbook for algebra one okay so we have a lesson some description some examples and some embedded questions for students another embedded question and now we have an interactive so in this interactive if I click on it it's going to allow me to change the red dot to anywhere I like in the chart and now it's going to change the information down here uh, so this is sort of similar to Desmos which allows um, students to play around with the features of um, how moving numbers on a graph affect the expression of that here okay and then remember this at the bottom and there is attached to practice that goes with this so with students there is work there are worksheets available so I could click on here so if we have students who um, can't access the internet you could print out the textbook for them and then print out the worksheet Okay, so it sent the worksheet to my email. So now I have that worksheet available in my email. So if I click here, it's gonna download it for me. I'm gonna say okay. And now it's available in my downloads. <clears throat> and I will show you what it looks like. So um, as you can see here, the entire worksheet these are all the practice questions it is not formatted in the best way possible but it is usable so it could be available for students to use um, in place of being able to do it on the online version so the interactive version um, does have preview practices uh, practice questions that uh, students can complete when you assign this to your students you'll be able to see the results of their practice so if I hit preview students won't get the preview by the way I'll just go ahead and start 
Um, and I had worked through some of these problems before, so you can see my score at the top. When you a student gets a question wrong, it will keep prompting them until they get the question right. And it does give them hints. There's a little place down here to get a hint at the bottom um, that will help them think through that. So that reinforces some of the learning that they were supposed to do during the reading. So now I'd like to go back and show you a little bit of the elementary school content. Um, I will be showing a few other features in this part. So even if you're not an elementary school teacher, you might want to watch this part as well. So I'm going to go click on the logo back up here at the top to get back to the main page. I'm going to click on subjects and I'm going to click on math by level. We're going to look at elementary school math. Addition and subtraction to 20. Adding to 10 with images. So these are all the different resources that I have available on this particular topic. So this is an interactive, the Plixes are interactive, so we're just going to look at that one, Play, Learn, Interact, and Explore. This is assignable to your students. So there are directions. This specific direction, try to move the red bird as close to the blue birds as possible by dragging the bird from the red dot. Okay, so now I'm adding them all together. How many red birds are there? I click my answer. <laughs> Got to show the right one. How many blue birds are there? If you add the number of red birds with the number of blue birds, how many birds do you have all together? Okay, so that's an example of the interactive. Now when it comes to assigning these to your classes, you just click on this little red button up here, even if you've never done it before. You can type in instructions here, and then CK12 will allow you to create classes within there, but if you already have a Google Classroom set up, that is the best way to do it. So if you click on Google Classroom, it will automatically connect, because remember, when we created our account, we signed up with Google. So if I click here on my name, now it's going to give me all of my classes, so then I would select my class and I would hit Assign to Classroom, and it would make it assigned to my Google Classroom. So you can probably tell I barely scratched the surface in what is available on CK12 for you. It is really great information. Um, the textbooks themselves are fabulous, so this might be a resource that you'd want to use. Now I don't know if all of this is free past school closure time, um, but if you're interested in exploring some new resources, this is a great one to look at. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to Dr. Carol Shutt for introducing me to CK12 so that I could share it with you. Have a great day!